I am Alessandro Mappelli. I am uh, working at CERN in the physics department in the detector technologies group, uh, where I'm a microsystems engineer. And I am in charge of uh, looking into microfabrication and microsystems uh, for new types of detectors and also services such as cooling. This is the silicon pixel detector that will sense the tracks of particles as they uh, traverse it. This is the, the gray part is the GTK silicon pixel detector. The golden part are 10 readout chips that are bonded on the backside of the detector and everything is glued on a silicon cooling plate in which micro channels are etched. Now, if we look on the other side of the detector, we will see the cooling plate with the pipes that come in with the cold liquid. And the cold liquid is distributed in the 150 channels that will take the heat dissipated from the electronics and maintains the silicon detector, so the GTK, at a temperature of about minus 20 degrees to increase its lifetime and reduce the damage due to radiation. This is the first time that uh, we use a microfluidic device, a silicon microfluidic device, to cool electronics or silicon detectors uh, at CERN and I guess worldwide. It is the first steps toward integrating further uh, services such as cooling into silicon detectors. Nowadays what we do is that we have the sensor and the readout electronics on one side and we bond, we glue this to the cooling plate and have a thermal interface uh, through them. Now, since the detector is silicon, the electronics is silicon and the cooling plate for the first time is silicon, we can only imagine that in the coming years, and this is what we're working on, uh, we will be able to integrate everything together. We want to reduce the thickness of the sensor, of the electronics as much as possible and we want to reduce the amount of material that we add uh, for cooling uh, these detectors. Now this means that at some point you have two very fragile objects which are difficult to handle. If you can integrate everything together you minimize the risks of damaging and the number of manipulations that you need. Now the other advantage in integrating the microchannels in the silicon detectors is that you minimize the thermal resistance, the thermal pass that you need uh, in between the cool points, so it's the fluid in the microchannels, and the hot points, which is the electronics, and the device that you need to maintain cold, which is the detector.